Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah. So you're um, the Wellesley Police Department liaisons of the bike training? How yes, does that work? one of them. Yes, we have numerous, but yes, I'm, I'm usually on the um, the bike during the summertime nice. when school gets out. I see. Yeah. So now, how do, how does this work for the um, kids? These kids come in with a with some understanding of bike biking and they know Wellesley. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But what you're trying to do is make sure they're safe on the streets. Yes, yeah. make sure that they know their hand signals. Yeah. Um, and if they feel comfortable riding on the string, um, and also at um, at intersections, just get off, hit the crosswalk signal if there is one, and if not, just get off, make sure you make eye contact, make sure everybody stops, and just safely cross the street, That's if you're by yourself. It's a bike safety event for middle schoolers. Okay. So the kids have a little bit of bike experience before they get here to this program? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So middle schoolers have started riding. A lot of them ride to school already. They okay. ride into town. They go to the you know, pizza shops and stuff. So this event is really trying to build their confidence and build their knowledge around safety, making sure they're using the right hand signals, they know how to stop, they know how to read the street signs, and they're just being really safe on the streets. Okay. I noticed you got some parents involved here, too. That's pretty pretty important right absolutely absolutely we have a couple parents that are uh, teaming up with the police officers to be trail guides and uh, just really setting the right example about wearing helmets and, and safety That's protocols awesome. yeah. do you guys um, so this is not the first year that you've done this right? this you is guys? the first year oh no kidding yeah this is the first annual wow. hopefully an annual event that's um, terrific specifically for middle schoolers yeah. okay do you know uh, can you tell me a little bit how it came about was it just a meet in the need or is it uh, parents and... yeah yeah so it was parents it was okay. parents uh, i was actually searching for a safety event for my son because he never participated in a rodeo at the elementary level okay. and i noticed there really wasn't anything for middle schoolers so just kind of started meeting people talking to the wellesley police safe routes to school and it all came together with parent volunteers. That's great. I'm sure the police were enthused about doing this type of thing. They were very enthused. Chief Kalecki is a major supporter and a sponsor. He's been amazing. He donated our water bottles oh. and we've had tons of support from the police. And I, I noticed you have some one of the, the local bike shops here too? Papa Wheelies. So Papa Wheelies has been in town in the center of Wellesley since November of last year. Okay. Uh, check them out. They're great. They're right in town. We didn't have a bike shop before. And Matt from Papa Wheelies has been here checking helmets, making sure the kids know how to put the helmets on safely. And also just checking to make sure the helmets are still good because helmets expire after a couple of years. Okay. And um, so we have another group moving out. Can you tell me a little bit what's going on here? How this yeah. Looks? So we have about 50 kids and we broke them into four groups and we're staggering them. They're riding down the path. It's about a 25 minute ride. Most of the ride is on the Brook path, but there's a lot of intersections on the path. So it's teaching them how to stop at those intersections, making sure that you're looking and making sure the cars aren't coming, how to safely cross the intersections on the path. And then there's a little bit of street riding as well, so they understand like how to stop at a stop sign, turn left, and hand signal to the riders behind them. Today, because I'm a member of the select board and uh, I'm working on transportation and um, what I'd like to what I was trying to share today was uh, information about a new service we have in town called Catch Connect okay. um, and the service is like Uber or Lyft it's a, a it's an on-demand uh, ride service that you dial up with your phone using oh, an app okay. so I wanted to talk to parents about that because uh, children 12 and older can ride unaccompanied and it takes you anywhere in Wellesley, to any point in Wellesley, uh, Monday through Friday, 6.45 a.m. to 6.45 p.m. Okay. And there are select destinations outside Wellesley, so Newton Wellesley Hospital, uh, the Green Line stations, uh, Riverside, Wobbin and Woodland, uh, Trader Joe's in Needham, and uh, the, the MBTA station that's right across the road from Trader Joe's there because that is fully ADA accessible. Um, and so the, it's a great way for kids, say if they're at a friend's house and they want to come home but their parents aren't able to pick them up, they can get home independently nice. as long as it's during the hours of service. It sounds like this is something that was modeled originally for seniors maybe to get place to place. Or? So it's, um, it's a new service in transportation. 
operations for the MWRTA, which is a regional transportation authority, did have a bus, uh, a, 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 loop, a fixed route loop in Wellesley, but it wasn't very well used. So during COVID, we piloted this uh, service, um, and uh, it's it, it's been very successful. The ridership um, per week drive, right is more than the ridership we had per month on the fixed route service. Wow, okay. um, but it's a little. What, what we have right now is it's very busy during the school year, the, yeah. the college school year, and it's not so busy during summer. And so I'd like to build more ridership specifically during the summer and more diversified through town. So I'd love to reach out to students 12 and older um, as a way for them to be independent. So it's a little bit of an alternative from the Uber riding or for bus taking. That's right. We, we no longer have a fixed route uh, bus service in, inside Wellesley. There is a, a commuter service that runs along Route 9 ju okay. just during commuter hours. Yeah. But there's no other bus uh, route service in Wellesley. So this will make connections from uh, Wellesley to other public transportation. Actually the, the Catch Connect will also take you to the community centre in Natick, okay. which is a place you can make connections to buses to the Natick Mall and so Framingham and things like that. You guys came up with your own name, Catch Connect? That's that is That was a name that the uh, MWRTA, the Metro West Regional Transit Authority, that's the name for their service. Okay. They originally had an app called MWRTA Catch, which is an app you can um, also, uh, look at the bus routes and see where the buses are. Okay. Um, and then they added to that uh, app the Catch Connect, which is uh, the micro transit service. I or see. The service. Wow. Well, it sounds like it's pretty, uh, it has a bit of a sophisticated uh, interface. Interface. Yeah, yeah, it's just like the Uber or Lyft app. And, um, it is, uh, it's Monday through Friday, yeah. um, 6.45 a.m., 6.45 p.m. Right now it's free. Okay. Uh, when fares do come into place, it'll be around about $2 a ride. Uh, yeah. So very, very, ex very accessible. And yeah. every all vehicles are uh, ADA accessible. Okay. So if you do have a wheelchair or, you know, other equipment, that you're definitely um, able to take these rides. So this gives kids also an alternative rather than, rather than biking around and a... ADA, uh, ADA kids perhaps, yep. they could get from point A to point B pretty independently. They can be independent yeah. and it's, it's a shared ride service so you may, you know, you, they may pick up another ride on the way so we try and have shared rides, first come first serve. Okay. Um, and so the average wait time is uh, targeted to be 15 minutes, sometimes it's less. In, in rush hour it might be a little bit more, it could be up to 30 minutes uh, so you have to plan around that. But yeah. it is. I have to say, when I've used it, it's been very quick. I've used it in the middle of the day. Okay. And, it's been very and uh, drivers and supervision, everything is uh, vetted? Yeah. It is vetted. So the drivers um, have the um, CORI screening, which is criminal background. Right. They also have the SORI screening, which is sex offender register. Okay. Uh, there's drug training and drug testing, and the drivers all um, have uh, driver training before they uh, are, are on the job and have ongoing training. These are public uh, transportation employees. So that it's a professional service. It is, it is, yeah. Well, that's wonderful. Thank yeah. you, Colette, all right. for all the information. You're welcome, and I, I'm happy to talk about transit with anybody anytime. They can reach out to me. How can they get in touch with you? So they uh, can send me an email. Uh, it's C R Frank. That's A U F R A N C at WellesleyMA.gov. And this is for all the transit options. Any questions about transportation? I'm happy to talk about um, the what was formerly the commuter rail, now regional rail, which has. Uh, we've changed our schedule. It used to be morning and evening with kind of gaps in the middle of the day. Right. Now we have a very consistent service uh, at, uh, at, so every hour, pretty much on the hour, um, to Wellesley and longer into the evening, uh, every other hour on the weekends. Uh, so that's a change uh, since COVID. And also happy to talk about um, walking and biking to school, the Safe Routes to Schools program, and how to get your kids um, you know, more active in the morning and the afternoon to get to school in a, that's terrific. In a better, healthy way. Yeah, cool. Thanks for all the information. Well, really it's nice to talk to you. Thank yeah, you. Nice to talk to you.